Hi everyone. So today I have a really exciting video idea. I've been seeing a lot of videos on TikTok about how to snatch yourself like Bella Hadid, how to snatch yourself like Kendall Jenner, blah, 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 all the models. So that's what I'm going to follow today. Some of those TikToks. And I just wanted to start off by saying a lot of you guys always ask me for my hair care routine. I don't really have one, but I can say in the past, like one, two months, my hair has drastically improved with the shininess and the healthiness and I think a lot of you guys picked up on it and I didn't talk about it but this has been a long video coming because I have been trying out Function of Beauty for quite a while now. So this video is sponsored so thank you so much Function of Beauty. So as you can see I have use these okay i am obsessed when i first started using it my mom was like what did you use in your hair it looks so healthy like it was a drastic change and now my hair is just so much more like shiny and silky looking what i love about functional beauty is that it's 100 percent catered to you i did a little quiz that decides what type of conditioner and shampoo you will use the most fun part of the quiz hands down was choosing the colors and the scent of course i chose pink and purple and the pink one so to the purple but the pink one it's like silky i don't know how to explain it's just oh i want to eat it and it smells so good i'll show you what i chose in my hair profile i have wavy hair i have fine hair and my scalp is kind of normal to oily so i just pressed oily and then my hair goals i for my memory because i did pick it a while ago i think i picked lengthen strengthen volumize shine and replenish hair i think and i don't remember what scent i got but Oh my god, it smells so good. Maybe I got peach. I don't know. But I got something that smells good and I can assure you they all probably smell really good. Uh, I I wash my hair like three times a week, two to three times a week. I try not to wash it very much because that's not good. <laughs> but yeah, it has definitely improved and my hair has been growing a lot longer uh, and a lot faster. So and function of beauty also offer a subscription service where you can get ongoing deliveries of your favorite personalized formulas on the delivery schedule of your choice so every month two to three or six months so it's one less thing you have to think about and of course you can cancel at any time or change your formula by switching up the goals and scents as often as you want and you can follow my link below to get 20% off your first order. So the name I chose on my shampoo, Function of Leah Lucia, how cute, oh my God. All of them say your name. This honestly might have to be my favorite product. And that's just because I get really frizzy hair. I use this every time after I wash my hair. And I also use it every time after I style my hair. It has been a game changer. So yeah, especially in this time, it's really important to take care of yourself and not neglect yourself because it can be very easy, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Function of Beauty. I love your stuff. 100% I'm going to order a new one very soon. Let's continue with the video. Okay, so the two TikToks that I am going to be following, one is by OGABG, and he put in some really cool tips and tricks on how to snatch your face. And then the other one is by Olivia Artistry. Sorry if I don't say the names right, but yeah, she does some tricks as well. Starting off with the MAC Prep and Prime, of course. Whilst I'm priming, I'm gonna watch the first steps. So this guy, he starts off with foundation and that's not what I do. So I'm gonna skip to the brow part. So he says, raise and extend. And she says, go with a messy feathered brow. So those are two very different things. I'm gonna try and do both. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil and I'm going to do upward strokes. I'm going to try and extend. I don't wanna shave my eyebrows. I'm going to brush my brows already because I kind of wanna see how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna brush them as up as I possibly can. Whoa. I'm going to try and extend it like this that and i don't care if they said that they don't carve their brows i'm going to carve my brows okay i need to carve my brows right, i'm gonna brush up again i just don't think i suit feathered brows not gonna lie so i'm taking nars creamy concealer in the shade vanilla and i'm only going to carve under my brows so hopefully this will lift them and i'm going to just blend that down onto my eyelid i've also been doing that thing on tiktok i've seen a few people do it when they like moisturize they're like they like sculpt their face and they like slap their face and it's meant to like bring collagen and sculpt your facial features. I don't think it does anything. Sorry, 
I said it. Next step for me is eyes. So Daniel says to elongate the crease outwards with eyeshadow and keep eyes neutral and smoky. Her eyes look stunning. And also Daniel says with winged eyeliner only on outer and inner corners. All right, you can't get much more neutral than the Kylie bronze palette. So I am taking this brown and I'm just going to start blending that and I'm going to hold my eye. So hopefully it helps me extend. And I'm also going to try and blend that up against the side of my nose because with the end product that will definitely help and slim the top part of my nose. I also think it's really important not to idolize these really snatched looking people because it's very hard to naturally look like that. I don't naturally look snatched. I have a round face but it is the trend right now but we all know that trends change all the time so this is achievable without surgery. Let's all love ourselves for ourselves. I love my round face. I'm going to grab the white shade. I'm going to pack that straight underneath the brow, but not on the inner half, only on the outer half. And what this does is it accentuates the brow tail. So now that we've done this, we're going to deepen up the crease a little bit only on the outer corners. So I'm going to grab this smaller brush and I'm going to grab this color here. Oh, oh, let's leave it. I don't care. Everyone's eye shape is different, but my eyes are kind of armored. So here I'm going to deepen up because my eyes, they come around, but we want to extend. So instead of bringing it down, like I usually would, I'm going to basically do that. So this makes it look like naturally your eyes kind of extend. All right, now I'm gonna blend that in with the color above. I'm not gonna try and blend that downwards. I think the key with any type of makeup, just don't blend downwards. It'll always go wrong because it's really important to try and lift your face. It's called a face lift for a reason. Taking my trusty vanilla concealer again, I'm going to cut the crease. I'm starting slim. This part is really important because this is what will shape your eyes. Now, usually I would bring it down or I'd leave it there. No, 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 no. We are not leaving it there. You're going to follow like that. Ah! It opens up your eye a lot more. We want cut eyes, but we don't want them closed. We want them to be open and bright. All right, I'm gonna grab a brush like this and the white shade from the Kylie palette. And I'm going to pat that religiously on the lid just so it's very bright, very white, and we want it to be matte like so. Oh my god, look at this. That's from me not wiping the eyeshadow off my hands. I knew that would happen. All right, so now this is the cat liner. So you're going to bring it up. It kind of really doesn't matter about the preciseness of the liner because we're going to smoke it out anyway. See what I've done here. I'm not putting any liner on the front half of my eye. I'm starting from the middle and I'm taking it out like that. So start from the middle, take it out and that makes your eyes look a lot more slanted. And then with the inner corner, you want to do a little triangle like that. So now I'm taking a little brush. You can use any brush, just make sure it's kind of flat and small. And I'm taking this dark brown and I'm going to pack that on top of that black liner. Try not to be too messy with this. It doesn't really matter. You can always fix makeup. That's the beauty of it. But again, really try not to bring any dark products on the first half of your eyes. And then taking this shade to further smoke it, but with a lighter color. I'm spraying a cotton bud with Fix Plus and I'm going to clean that up so it's very sharp. I think I'm going to stick the lashes on now. I don't usually do this, but I really want that effect. I've worn these before, so sorry, they're a bit dirty. Make sure they are shorter at the front, longer at the end. We don't want a lash that's the same size at the end as it is at the front because that is what rounds out your eyes. I've always hated lashes like that. I find that they're very unflattering on my face. These are the lashes I used in my clubbing video. So again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't know the name. They are Ilua, but I don't know the specific name. I'm very sorry. So this is very important, extremely important for the whole cat eye look what you're going to do is stick the inner corner as close you can to the lash line and then with the end of the lash don't stick it to the end of your eye because that will round it you want to stick it up to the top of your liner and what that will do is lift your eye because it is a flared lash though it would still lift so if you're not comfortable it doesn't matter as long as you have a flared lash and that really as you can see my eye is already lifted to the gods i'm going to do the same with this eye and there we have very lifted eyes as you can see and then 
with the liner, you're gonna take that and go underneath the fake lashes, but above your natural lashes. That little gap that you left in there, you're just gonna blacken that out. So what did they say about the skin? Mm -mm -mm. Daniel said foundation as usual. So yeah, let's just put on foundation as usual. I'm gonna put some Max Stripe cream on. I am extremely pale. So today I'm gonna stick to a lighter foundation. However, I'm going to bronze. All right, so now that we're glowing and taking shade Punjab of Nashi Glow. Oh, oh no. All right, never mind. I'm going to be mixing shade Barcelona with shade Gobi. I'm just blending that in as usual. And of course, make sure to blend it on your ears and down your neck. When have you ever seen a cakey model? Never. So try and go light on the foundation. I think I'm only going to stick to the two pumps I just did then. And that onto my collarbones because they're a bit pasty as well. Winter does unfortunate things to me. Now, this is where it gets saucy, okay? Both of them do this one technique with concealer where they only conceal these areas. So I'm going to copy this and do what she does. I'm going to take my light concealer vanilla here, here. I'm kind of worried for how this will turn out here, here, and here. <laughs> I don't know how she blended it, but she blended it, all right? So I'm just gonna blend it with this. I'm kind of worried because I usually use my hourglass vanish stick first. All right, I don't think I did anything, not gonna lie. And then bake those areas only. So I'm going to take the Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes by Laura Mercier. Last video, I kind of realized that maybe this does work. Maybe I just have to leave it baking. As we know, I have had problems in the past with this powder. Here. Here. Oh God. And here. Okay, <laughs> now that I look crazy, I'm going to start to bronze. So, well, well, with the Laguna Bronzer by NARS. Okay, so she says bronze using upward strokes. And then he says bronze outer face. I want to try and give myself that. You know what I mean? I'm going to try and not bronze too much up here. Just give myself that much needed jawline. I'm going to contour my nose. So what did she do? She just did normal nose contour, but it's all about the baking and the highlighting. So I'm going to contour my nose as I normally would. So I'm using this little brush, little tapered brush. Honestly, when it comes to nose contour, it's really all about baking. She bakes like so. I never really bake in the middle of my nose. I don't know why. I just don't. I feel like it's hard. <laughs> Ooh. And then she says for baking under the cheeks, lightly bake but form a hook instead of a straight line. Forms the illusion of fuller cheeks. What does he do? Oh, so he baked here. I don't want full looking cheeks. I want hollow looking cheeks. Oh, I know why he baked there because it gets rid of the illusion of jowls. Honestly, we're just pretty much baking everywhere on our face. My God. Highlight the topmost parts of the face is what he says. And she says, add a little highlight on your temples. They didn't say anything about blush. So I'm just going to blush and highlight pretty much as usual and add some to the temples as well. For blush, I'm taking my lovely Kylie Peach palette, this shade. I ordered a Scott Barnes palette and I'm still waiting on it. Now, models, they aren't too shiny. So I'm taking the Mecca Cosmetica Enlightening Powder and I'm just putting that on the high points of my face. Oh, I should have spritzed, sorry. And hopefully that will set my baking in place as well. Yeah, I'm really trying to just get that glow from within look. Temples. I'm gonna do my inner eye corners. I'm gonna do a bit of my cupid spray just with a leftover. What next? Line lips and add V to lip corners. Look at the difference. All right, so I'm going to very overline my lips. So they both said nude lip liner. Very important. I'm going to define my cupid's bow. So I'm not going to have that rounded look. Extend the outer corners of the lips. Give myself a Angelina Jolie line. See how much fuller my lips look? Oh, oh my God. Wait, why did that actually sound like the song? <laughs> All right, I'm now taking my KKW Blue Art Cream Lipstick in the shade Kimberly. And I just hardly put any on and I'm just now going and highlighting with it. And now I'm going to add gloss. So this is the Estee Lauder gloss like that now time to do my under eye eyeshadow so i'm going to wipe off the bake Ooh, i'm going to pat it in i wonder if that did anything will we ever know i don't know so now i'm taking this very small brush and i'm going to take the initial color that we started with and i'm pretty much going to put that on the entire lower lash line and i'm going to kind of at the front here i'm going to bring it out a little bit to create shadow with the dark shade i'm going to only only do the outer corner so here 
and bring that up. And now with whatever's left over, you're going to grab that and go on the inner corner here. Now I'm going to put on some mascara. Do they do lower lash line or oh, all the models in the pictures pretty much have lower lash line mascara? I'm scared. All right, I'm going to do the top. I only do the outer corners of my lower lash line. Oh, God. All right, and now I'm going to punch this into the rest of my face. All right, so that's pretty much the makeup look all done. However, we need to snatch the face like this. Oh, so I'm going to grab these pieces of hair. Oh God, this is not going to be fun. All right, I'm going to get this piece of hair and just tie it in a knot above my face because we want her out of the way. All right now, I'm going to grab all of this and you're going to pull it as tight as you humanely can. Tie them together at the back of your head with a little elastic band. So now my face is pulled. It's not as pulled as I could, but it's as pulled as I'm going to let it be. Right now I'm taking out the hair on top. All right, so I think that's as snatched as I can humanely get. for watching shout out to daniel at ogabg shout out and shout out to olivia m artistry thanks for inspiring me to do these looks you guys and yeah thank you so much to function of beauty thank you i love the stuff please send me more and yeah let me know if you think i'm snatched i don't think i'm that snatched i just don't think it's physically possible for my face to be <laughs> Maybe as I age, it will get more snatched because my dad has very snatched model-esque cheekbones. And you know what? So does my mom. My mom has very high cheekbones. So hopefully I get a mixture of the two. But for now, with my puppy fat on my face. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Leah Holton underscore and everything. Whoa, I just dropped a palette, but I caught it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.